The Vikings, those fierce seafaring warriors from Scandinavia, were known for their cunning survival techniques, adaptability, and ability to thrive in harsh environments. One of the most intriguing and lesser-known aspects of their daily lives involved a remarkable method of fire-starting that took advantage of a very unlikely resource, urine. This peculiar practice highlights both the Viking ingenuity and their deep understanding of natural processes, allowing them to harness the power of ammonia produced from urine to ignite fires more quickly and efficiently. Fire was central to Viking life. It provided warmth in the freezing northern climates, cooked their food, and was necessary for working with metals, particularly in the crafting of weapons and tools. In the unforgiving environments of Norway, Sweden, Denmark, and Iceland, fire was not just a luxury, but a necessity for survival. However, starting fires in the damp and often cold climate could be a challenge. The Vikings, being highly resourceful, needed to ensure that they could consistently and reliably start fires even in unfavorable conditions. To achieve this, they developed a clever method that involved a substance readily available to them, urine. The process by which the Vikings used urine to help start fires hinges on the chemical changes that occur when urine is left to stand for an extended period. Fresh urine contains a compound called urea, a nitrogenous waste product that is produced by the body to excrete excess nitrogen. When left to sit, Urea begins to break down through a process called hydrolysis, eventually converting into ammonia. Ammonia, a highly alkaline compound with a pungent smell, has properties that make it useful in a variety of ways, including as a fire accelerant. The Vikings discovered that by soaking a special fungus in urine and allowing it to absorb the ammonia, they could create a material that was highly flammable and capable of catching fire more easily than ordinary tinder. The key to this Viking fire-starting technique lay in a particular type of fungus called foams, fomentarius, more commonly known as tinder fungus, or amadou. This fungus grows on decaying trees, particularly birch and beech, and has been used for centuries by various cultures as a natural tinder material due to its ability to catch and hold a spark for long periods. The Vikings would collect amadou from the forests and dry it out. However, in its natural state, amadou doesn't catch fire as quickly as one might need, especially in damp conditions. To improve its flammability, the Vikings employed their ingenious method of soaking the amadou in urine. By soaking the amadou fungus in urine and then drying it out again, the fungus absorbed the ammonia, which would drastically enhance its ability to ignite. The ammonium salts that formed as a result of the process acted as an accelerant, making it much easier to start fires even when the weather was cold or wet. Once the fungus had been properly prepared, the Vikings could strike a spark from flint and steel onto the urine-soaked amadou, which would ignite more easily and burn steadily, giving them the precious flames needed to survive in the challenging conditions of their homeland and during their long sea voyages. The use of urine as a fire starter reflects the Vikings' deep connection with the natural world and their ability to utilize every resource available to them. While the idea of using urine might seem strange or unsanitary by modern standards, it was a practical and effective solution for the Vikings, who had to make do with what they had in their environment. For them, urine wasn't waste. It was a valuable tool. This process of using urine-soaked amadou was especially important during the Vikings' long sea voyages and their exploration of new territories. When they landed in unfamiliar places, fire would have been essential for warmth, protection, and cooking. The ability to start a fire quickly in an unknown and possibly hostile environment would have been crucial for their survival. Moreover, this method of fire starting using urine highlights the resourcefulness and practicality that characterized much of Viking culture. The Vikings were not wasteful, 
They were opportunistic and innovative, always finding ways to use the materials around them to their advantage. It's important to note that the Vikings weren't the only culture to recognize the value of ammonia, which has a wide range of uses beyond fire starting. Ammonia is a powerful cleaning agent, and it was commonly used in ancient times for everything from laundering clothes to preparing animal skins for tanning. In fact, the practice of using urine to produce ammonia for these purposes was common throughout the ancient world, from the Romans to the Chinese. In Viking society, urine may have had multiple applications. For example, it could have been used to help soften animal hides for leather production, a vital resource for clothing, shoes, and armor. The Vikings' use of urine for fire starting is just one example of how they maximized the utility of every material available to them. The story of the Vikings using urine to start fires is a testament to their ingenuity and resourcefulness, traits that have come to define them in the historical imagination. They were not only fierce warriors and skilled sailors, but also practical problem solvers who knew how to thrive in some of the harshest environments on earth. This fire-starting technique, though unusual, underscores the importance of adaptability in Viking culture. Their survival in the challenging landscapes of Scandinavia and their success in exploring and raiding distant lands was due in large part to their ability to innovate and make use of whatever resources they had at hand. While the image of Vikings soaking fungus in urine to start fires might seem strange, it reflects the same practical mindset that led them to build longships capable of crossing oceans, establish settlements in far-flung territories, and leave a lasting mark on the world. The Viking practice of using urine to start fires is a fascinating example of how necessity drives innovation. In a world where fire meant the difference between life and death, the Vikings developed a method to ensure they could always create flames, no matter the conditions. By understanding the chemical properties of ammonia and harnessing the power of the amadou fungus, they turned a common waste product into a valuable survival tool. As we look back on the history of the Vikings, it's worth remembering that their success was not just due to their might, but also to their remarkable ingenuity, whether in building ships, navigating treacherous waters, or starting a fire using the humble power of urine.